for some of the folks, because an internship, like we said, are a really great way to get your foot in the door, but we also don't want people to feel like, well, if I haven't done an internship, then I'm behind. There's definitely other things that you can be doing and educating yourself and sort of getting yourself into the know with if you're, this is an industry that you're interested in. And from your guys' perspective, what kinds of media or places or designers, how do young people find out like what they should be following in order to know about trends in the industry? You know, if they're not able to, for some reason, get into an internship quite yet or it's taking them some time, how can they stay in the know? Like, What are some of the publications that you read? Are there some professional organizations or different type of groups they can follow and you know, still feel like they're educating themselves? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Um, so I think in terms of the fashion industry, uh, reading the trade publications, including Business of Fashion and Women's Wear Daily is obviously a must. So if you're not subscribed to their newsletters, that's a really great way to just get a digest of information that's just like top level talking points. Um, so that can inform you on, on what's happening. Um, and then as a resource for, for our editors, we often consult the website Writers of Color. It's actually a social media organization too. Um, and so we're always looking for writers there um, in terms of uh, like looking for new freelancers and also looking for employees and posting there. Mm -hmm. um, so that, those are the kinds of things that uh, I, would, I would recommend personally. That's great. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions? I would also recommend looking at people that inspire you and following who they follow because then you can kind of just go down that wormhole and uh, get it more directly from the source as well as build your own network of references so that when people inevitably ask you in an interview who are your favorite designers, who are your favorite, the favorite people that you're following, um, you can just have a wider pool to, uh, to answer from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, reading is really important and I also think that just looking directly at what other brands are doing is really important. So across all different types of channels, I think that sort of dissecting one brand and what they're, what they're working on, whatever their campaign is or whatever their content is at the moment can be really helpful and helps you sort of get a full picture of, of them. Um, I think another, on the more marketing side, another really cool website is called Glossy, and they also have a really cool mm -hmm. podcast where you can hear what brands are doing um, in both fashion and beauty. I love Glossy. Yeah. I also tell candidates when they're applying for jobs that you shouldn't just read fashion magazines or publications. It's important to have a well-rounded view of the world, so like read a newspaper, um, because, and you'll learn this in your journalism classes too, that I remember Kelly McMasters was, was a professor at NYU and she made us read the New York Times as part of our assignment for class every day and I've really taken that with me because it, it matters, you know, fashion is often a reflection of what's going on in the culture. So if you're not informed of what's happening in the world, sometimes, you know, you're not able to best understand what's going on in the industry at large. So um, that's always important when you're going into an interview, they have more than one kind of reference point for, for what you're talking about. Mm 